All right, Ryan, where are we now? We're at the Humboldt Park at Lagoons. We are. Very bright sun here, but we'll wait for these people to pass by. Just uh, another quick mile and a half hike that we have to hit. It's in our book, so we're here to do it. Kind of cool. They got uh, paddle boards to rent that are shaped like geese and also uh, bikes for rent. Uh, Two-person bike, three-person bike. There's ice cream being sold. Ice cream? Uh, a lot of baby ducks, not baby yeah, geese, baby spring ducks. Springtime. All the babies have come out to play. Oh, look at this beautiful uh, lily pad pond. So this is Humboldt Park. I mean, this is a 200 acre park in the middle of Chicago, the west side of Chicago. Named after, oh, it's not Wilhelm Humboldt, it was Alexander von Humboldt. Very nice. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Humboldt was born in Berlin in 1769. I'm pulling these facts out. You got it. You got it down. Back then, uh, there was no Germany. There was no German Confederation. That was not for another hundred years. So it was known as Prussia. And Alexander's brother, Wilhelm, I guess was the older brother because he was the... Uh, I don't want to say Lord, he was the, whatever the royalty was, he was royalty within Germany. So Alexander, who the park is named after, uh, was like an artist and a scientist and was single-handedly brought back the word cosmos from the ancient Greek texts. We now have the word cosmos in our vocabulary because of this guy and he traveled all over the United States. Um, environmentalist, mathematician, I mean, this was a dude. This guy had everything going for him. And he never yeah, made it. What was it, polymath? Poly uh, something. Yeah, poly something. Well, you know, in math, there's a lot of polys. Polygon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm super excited to be here. And what a beautiful man, that's the coloring. The sun setting, just beautiful. Hold on for a sec, let's just hang out here because there's some kids. So, nice to be. this is just beautiful. We'll get some more film here. We're going to be walking around all the ponds. So, we we started at the pavilion, we're walking around this pond, and then when I guess we cross the street, there's more ponds across the street. That's Sacramento Boulevard. Sacramento Boulevard is the street next door, I think. Uh, this is really. I'm feeling more at ease here. It's a calmer start. It's a calmer, certainly a calmer start. And it looks just like, you know, kind of the 1800, 19, early 1900s, like what a park would look like. Or what we have been told a park would look like. Okay. All right, we are kind of on phase two. We're across the street, second pond. Second big building. A lot of families. Uh, where do you want to go? Well, we're going to go last. I don't... I think they both merge over here. Oh, I'm wrong. Alright. Cool playing fields. Is this a body of water, or is this a vacant field? Where are you taking us, Dad? I'm taking a look at this field. Where are you taking us? Oh, I just tweaked at the branch. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is, man. Abandoned? Looks like it used to be a hotel. And this would be the, the swimming pond, right? That is dried up. Cool buildings. Yeah, 
it's just too bad these things don't can't be used or just don't get used. It's a really cool building. Oh, I've got a baseball field over there that gets used. That's going to be a freak out. Well, we picked a nice garden spot to sit down and have a sandwich. I think that's got to be a statue of Mr. Humboldt. Mr. Humboldt statue. Sir Humboldt. It's been very pleasant. We decided to stop and have a little picnic for your long-term viewers you know we love the picnic <laughs> and we make unique sandwiches cheers cheers prost in honor of humboldt we say prost he was german it was german it does prost <laughs> prost means cheers cheers that's a good one yeah good one to know there's a a customer who uh, at Joe's last night who was German. And Joe's like, Scott, speak German with him. Come on, say something. Impress no. me. And I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't start a conversation. I have no idea how to speak the language. <laughs> so you're taking this tutor. You're spending all this time. All right. Well, here we are again. So today's sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to definitely uh -huh. not focus on that part right now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you are tired. <laughs> Today's sandwich is a, one of the repeats from last week because I still had guava jelly. So we are mm. doing sunflower butter and guava jelly. It's good. Homemade bread, new batch of bread. Mm. It's soft. This is good stuff. Thank you for making this. Mm. My second one today, I had one at all. I can't some... wait to see Neil fruit. Neil has officially graduated. Shout out to Neil. Tomorrow is the release of the graduation video. Mm. No student participation, no parental participation, but I mean, it's a pre-recorded video. But he graduates. And that's pretty cool. This would be a fun place to set off fireworks. Oh, yeah. I see an empty shell. Oh, that's why. Okay. I still have a bag full of them at home. <laughs> this 4th of July is going to be whack. Well, tomorrow I'm picking up Neil. Hopefully he'll get a job pretty soon. So, no hike tomorrow for us. This is our second today. But I gotta drive to New York. And uh, getting back to the park, this is a scavenger hunt in front of us. And that's kind of cool to see. That's gonna do it for our hikes today. We are finishing the Humboldt Park hike. It's going to come out to about 1.4 miles. Quick and easy. Really enjoyable. A lot of uh, city energy. Families out here. Other hikers, runners. Uh, just everybody's out enjoying the sun, enjoying the uh, lift of the mask mandate. So that's really solid. Now we're heading off to get some dinner at Amitable, which is a vegan place in Park Ridge. Looking forward to that. It's a good day in Chicago. 45 minutes with lunch, with a snack. So that was a quick hike. <laughs> That's the air. That's the air going through. Uh, moon's out. You can see the skyline from here as well well and at times <laughs> all 
All right, well, thanks for joining us today. Be sure to like and subscribe. This is the final of the Chicago hikes. No, it's not. Well, maybe final Chicago, but there's two more Cook County. Yes, final of the Chicago hikes. We've got two more down by Palos to finish up the schoolhouse and then one other Lake that I Catherine. have here. Lake Catherine. So that'll be fun. And then we've got a bunch of Indiana Dunes coming up that we still have to finish out. There's like nine Indiana Dune hikes. Seven. Just saying. All right. And a Warren Dunes in Michigan. Yeah. Uh, then what else do we have? I think that's about it. Then there's like uh, one by Kankakee, like the Iroquois Wildlife okay. County yeah. Preserve. And then uh, like, I think there's one or two, like to Keisha Woods or something like that. Okay. I can't remember if that doesn't make sense to be Lake County. So it must be DuPage. Okay. Yeah, we finished up everything north now, almost yeah. everything Cook, pretty much northwest. Uh, southwest is pretty much done, except for maybe that one to Page. So it's south and Indiana. Yeah, I think we've got like 12 more hikes. Yeah. An, uh, a few enough number where we're counting them down. Yes. And, uh, and we're hitting a lot of the short ones that are left. It's just sort of the cleanup work. Yeah. Like, you know, the two today, which was Jackson Park at a, under two miles, and today Humboldt Park under two miles. Uh, not a full week's worth of video because there's only like a mile and a half each so probably be condensed to three videos three or four videos each uh pretty enjoyable though so uh, we're closing in on the uh on the finish line yeah fourth of july that'll be a good target for that mm. we'll see i don't know if we're going to be able to do lake geneva this okay. on memorial day yeah just keep knocking them out of the book yeah I don't know. I don't think I got 23 miles in my ankles, but uh, we'll clean them out. We'll knock out of the book, and then we can uh, freelance because we've already done Lake Geneva twice, so we can freelance off of there. Thanks for joining us today.